Hey everyone, welcome to Purling Through Life. My name's Melissa and I'm coming to you from the suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia. I hope everyone is doing well. And if you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. So this is my channel and it's all about my knitting, my crochet and yarn hauls. And in today's video, I have a yarn haul to share with you. So over this past weekend, my husband and I went to the Southeastern Animal Fiber Fair in Fletcher, North Carolina. We go every year and this year it was um, October 20th through the 22nd. So we didn't go on Friday, but we got there on Saturday the 21st and we stayed overnight and we went on Sunday the 22nd as well. So I wanted to show you all the things that I purchased from the Fiber Festival or the Fiber Fair and let's get started. So the first thing I want to show you is this basket and it has all of my other goodies in it. So I've always wanted one of these baskets so I decided this year I'm going to get it. So here it is. And this basket is from Twin Birch Products. They sell a lot of um, um, crochet and spinning and knitting tools. They hand make them. And then these baskets, I'm very sorry, I can't remember where they're from, but they get the baskets and they sell quite a lot. They have a large variety of baskets to sell. And evidently, if this basket were to get smushed or you know you didn't like the shape you could wet the basket and shape it yourself so i've always wanted one of these and so this year i got one and then inside is all my other goodies so let's see i'm gonna take some of it out to show you i think i'll show you the non-yarn stuff first and then i'll show you all of the yarn so I got some project bags. I got two project bags and these are from, I've got all the cards over here as well so I don't mess up names. And I will link all of these shops that I mentioned, I will link them down below. So if you're interested, you can go and have a look. So these bags, these project bags I got are from Twisted Yarn and Fiber. Here's their card. Oh, how well you can see that but there's their card and let's see they quality handmade project bags and accessories so here are the bags so here's the first one now if you watch my channel at all you must know how much i love project bags and i've never gotten a project bag from this company before but these are gorgeous so and and actuality, the last time I bought a project bag for myself was last year at this festival. So it's been a year since I brought, I've bought a project bag because I have a lot. So here's the first bag. Here's the bottom of it. And here's the inside. And then it has um, the drawstring to close it. And it's just... It's just lovely. So there is that. And then the other project bag I got is um, the same style, but it has, it's more of a Christmassy bag. It had, let me fix this here. Here it is. So it has Christmas lights on it, but I didn't think, so it does definitely looks like Christmas lights, but I thought, um, I don't know, something about it made me think I could use it all year it didn't always have to look like Christmas lights so there is that bag and then the strap and the inside is just red it's lovely it's uh, I think these were their small bags small medium and large are what the bags they had so this were small bags are really good size it'll definitely be good for socks but even um, a little bit bigger projects so there are my two bags that I love. And then the next thing I got, I got from Cottontail Farms. 
um, and they make um, project bags as well and uh, just all kinds of stuff. I didn't get any bags from them, which is unusual for me um, because they're my favorite. Well, one of my absolute favorite bag makers, but I didn't get any from them, but I did get some needle minders and here's, I got two of them. One of them I've already put on some needles, but um, here's the other one that I got. Here's the other one, just needle minders uh, for DPNs. And like I said, and I don't have the project bag in here, um, but I have them on some needles already because I was in desperate need of these. So there it is, two snaps. Cute. So I got that, and then I got some stitch markers from Katrinkles, which I've always, I've wanted to get for a while. They have some very cute things. So here they are, and they're actually my lighting. I'm working on the lighting, how to get, how to get this, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm definitely not a natural at it. I wear glasses, so I'm trying not to have it too much in my eyes. But now I'm thinking it's not showing anything that well. But they're just, um, they're wooden and they have like cats on them. And they have cats on them, all different ones. So anyway, there's some stitch markers. And then the last non-yarn thing I got, I'm actually the most excited about. It is some needles. And this is by Brick House Fiber Arts. Here's their card. I'm in love with these needles. Uh, they make these needles. Um, it's very, I think it, I think their business is very new. Um, they've just started to come out with Circular, well, they have circular needles, they have DPNs, they have straight needles, and I got, I just got one pair of needles, because they're a little, they're a little pricey, I think this was like about $35, but, um, you know, they're a small shop, and uh, they're, they're making these, um, uh, let's see, a lot of their needles are still in the production phase they're still trying them out so they've got a lot more they want to come out with um but i got these and i got this is a a, a 16 inch circular and these are 2.75 um and i can't really the needle itself is like a um a hexagon they're prism hexagon circular knitting needles so they're not rounded it's like a hexagon and um, the point isn't is nice it's not too too sharp um, but it's nice but this cord is like the best cord I've ever I've ever experienced um, the join is really good like really really good and this is just there's no memory it, it's it's wire so, but it doesn't have, like the chow goose have wire, but they have the, um, the plastic coating. Is it plastic? But they have a coating over them. This, these don't, but they're just so, I wish I could just really show you. They have absolutely no memory. They're lovely. So I got these, uh, because I thought, well, I could knit hats with these. Um, but I do want to get more. She doesn't have any, um... I wanted to get some sock needles, like 2.25 millimeters, and she doesn't have any of those. That's the next thing she wants to come out with. So as soon as she does, I'll be definitely getting those, but um, I can see me collecting these. These are nice, really, really, really nice. And it's a small business, and with si Signature Needle Arts have gone out of business so it's kind of good to have another small, um, you know, kind of like um, just a small shop um, coming up with needles that are a bit different than uh, needles that we're all used to, like chow goos, which are wonderful, and hi highs, which are my favorite. It's just nice to see a small business come out with needles. 
I'm very excited for these needles. Let me get a sip of tea and then I'll show you all the yarn that I got. Okay, now on to the yarn that I purchased. And the first two hanks of yarn that I want to share with you are self-striping sock yarn. And they are from Hinkston Handmade, formerly known as Rock and Strings Creation. And these are the two hanks of yarn that I got from them. So here's the first one. Oh, I hope that you can see this lighting. It's not great. Here's their label. And this is called Mountain Roots. And this is the Matchy Matchy Sturdy Sock Base. So it's two separate hanks. And when you wind them up, they'll start at the same place so they match. This is 80% Superwash US Merino, 20% Nylon. Um, and it is 446 yards total. And did I say is mountain roots? And I don't, I don't dare touch anything, but I hope that you can see enough. So there's that. And then the next one that I got from them is also on their sturdy sock base, but I didn't get it in the, um, the matchy matchy sturdy sock. I just got it in just one hank. Here it is. Now, I thought this looked very Christmassy. She had samples of all of the different colorways um, above the yarn so you could see what it looked like. So the name of this is Monster Mash, but it really looks very Christmassy to me, actually. And everything's the same. 446 yards, 80% superwash, and 20% nylon. Everything is the same. So there is that. And then, let's see. Then I got some yarn from Passion Yarns. I got four um, hanks of yarn to go together. This was a really good price um, because they had 20% uh, off if you bought three hanks or more. And I believe that their yarn um, only started out at like $26 a hank. So it was like $89 for four hanks of yarn. And what is that, like $22 a hank, 22 and change, something like that. So I got four to go together. Let me see. Well, this is their card, Passion Yarns. That's their card. And I'm gonna show you them all together. And then I will go through each one, or the colorways. So here they are. Here they are. All together. And I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with them. I thought about the Stephen West um, shawl that he's just come out with, the Geo Gradient. I thought about that. Uh, we'll see but I thought they all went together really well. So um, this one here, oh, this one here is um, Espresso Bean. It's on their beloved sock base. It's 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon, 463 yards for 100 grams. There's that one. And then the next one, everything is the same. And this colorway is chocolate brown. Here's their label. Chocolate brown. And this one, I don't see a colorway name on this one. It's very similar to this, very similar, but there's no, this one, they forgot to put the name of it on there, but that's okay. So there's this one. And then this last one is Mochaccino. 
so there we go those right there i thought they all went really well together for a shawl or something so the next two hanks of yarn i'll show you are from forbidden fiber co and here's the first one here's their label and this was this one is on their gluttony sock base it's 80 percent superwash merino 20% nylon, it's 425 yards, and the colorway is Dr. Georgina. So there's that one. And then to go with it, I got this, but this one is on a different base, which is fine. Um, that's fine, but that's, they were sold together, like they were right, like side by side. But this is on a different base. This is on a Fortitude base, which is 100% Superwash Merino. And it's 475 yards, 113 grams. And the colorway is Apothecary Kit. So these to go together. And they had a beautiful shawl right next to it. So there's these. And then these, and the last four hanks of yarn I got from Gem Lux Fibers. And I have hats in mind for these. So the first one I'll show you, um, these both are on sport weight. And here's the first one. And there's their label. So here's the first one. This is um, on their Delta Sport base. It's 100% Superwash Rambouillet, and it's 360 yard, 306 yards for 800 grams, and this is called Sapphire. And then this one here, it's on the same base. Everything's the same. And this one <laughs> is Namine Lion. Nemean Lion. Oh, I can't. I can't, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. But I thought these went really well, and I can't remember the name of the pattern. I've just lost it. Um, that I want to use to make this. Um, these. I want. I cannot remember the name of the hat pattern that I intend to use this yarn for. But there's that. These to go together. And then the last two. Hanks of yarn. They're also from Gem, Gem, Gems Lux Fibers, and this is on their Lux DK. Here's the first one, and this is Blackberry Cobbler, seventy-five percent superwash merino, twenty-five percent nylon, and it's two hundred and forty-five yards for a hundred grams. So there's this one. And here is the second, oh, did I? Yeah, here is the second one. I don't know if you can tell, this is like a really, really light lavender. And this is on their, um, it's Fab DK, and it's um, Quartzite, Quartzite, all these names. So I have these two to go together as well for a hat, and I can't remember the name of that pattern either. But it is by Lyrical Knits. I know that. And I can't. Oh. Mm. I can't remember the name. <laughs> can't remember that either. But there is my yarn haul. And, well, yarn haul, my haul in general that I got from the Southeastern Animal Fiber Fair. We had a lovely time. It was perfect weather. I didn't get any footage. Um, I just didn't get any footage. I... I I intended to at the end my husband's like you didn't get any footage and I was like I didn't but oh well maybe next year and it, like I said it was a beautiful weather it was a perfect fall day and the the trees were turning colors and it's up in the mountains and it was just beautiful and we had a lovely time and it was nice and chill it's not I evidently was very busy on Friday but Saturday and Sunday they were not busy at all. And on Sundays, we like to get there at like, it opens at nine. 
and have one last look around and then we're usually done very early and then we go and go sightseeing do some other things so it was a lovely weekend so I hope you enjoyed this haul and I hope that you have been having a great week and I will see you soon so until then bye for now